Hi, I am Jan Marie Blanco and I am a Globalian. I recommend GIC because here, the students are given enough courage to show what they can do. There is no limit in learning and showcasing talents and creativity. In GIC, there is family. Students will hold each other and stay beside each other till they reach the top. Hi, my name is Elsina Dastala and I'm a Globalian. In GIC, they gave me the most memorable teachers that I also consider as my treasure. They are always there to support us whenever we want or need something. And also, they guided us along the journey of being a senior high school student. The way they treated us here in GIC made us feel like we have a brother, sister, or the coolest teacher here in GCIC. Hi, my name is Maria Pauline Panto and I'm proud that I am a Globalia. Global Innovative College has imparted me many things and it brings out the best and worst in me. It also helped me enhance my skills. And one of the best skills that GIC have imparted me is being a globally competitive student. And by that, I can truly say that I am hashtag Iba Classic. Vince Cruz and I am a Globalia. My passion runs for music and I would like to share it to everybody. As a Globalian myself, the teachers and the students did boost my confidence and improve my potential. And I really guarantee no lies, no jokes. It is one of the best experiences I've had in this school. And it is truly unforgettable. And I might say it is a certified hashtag in Banklasia experience. Hi, I'm Catherine K.A. Perez and I'm a global. I chose academic track, specifically STEM strand, because I already have a diminutive background about it. And also, the college course that I will be taking is under this rank. Here in GIC, the STEM students are engaged in well-designed laboratory experiences that develops our problem-solving and critical thinking skills. Hi, I'm Ashley Bretagna, and I'm a global. My greatest achievement so far here in GIC was when I became a short film director. I didn't expect that I'll do good or even do something that can make it a beautiful film since I have no experience at all in directing. I'm truly thankful to be part of that activity in GIC because it didn't just mold my skills but I also discovered new things to try and what more can I do after I step out from my comfort zone. I really learned that lot from that. Hi, I'm Samantha Alivio and I'm a Globalian. I would recommend GIC, for it is not a simple and common school. GIC is hashtag ibang klase indeed. The 3D educational system really helped me as a student and as an individual. Discover, develop, and direct. GIC helped me to discover my abilities and capabilities as a student and most especially as a leader. GIC worked with me hand in hand to develop my skills. And today, I am in the process of directing for I won as a GIC Global Supreme Student Association President. Good day, netizens! We are back again with a fresh new episode of the G Talks. My name is Mr. Alvin Obilio. I am the HSP coordinator for GIC. And together with me is my partner, Jasper. Jasper! Hello, citizens! Um, hi, Sir Alvin. I am Jasper Jean Serpuerto from STEM 12 of Global um, Innovative College and also the president of Global Supreme Student Association. Thank you for joining me, Jasper. I believe this is our second episode. Tama ba ako? Uh, yes, sir. Tama ka dyan. Um, As we have mentioned from the previous episode, um, live series ang pag-uusapan natin for, um, for this school G-Talks. And of course, for this episode, together with our guest host, and of course, yung mga viewers natin dyan sa Facebook, we'll be talking about innovation. And so, yeah, natapos na natin, sir, yung leadership, right? Yes, correct, Jasper. And today, we will be talking about uh, a lot of innovative things. Nag-iimbita tayo actually usually ng alumni, 
to talk about their lives, uh, their experiences in GIC and how it actually transpired and um, transformed their lives no, into the um, actual life setup. So, um, kakamustahin lang naman natin sila. Kakamustahin, reminisce about GIC, um, their lives in GIC. Tapos, what are they doing now? So, yeah. Oh, ay- ayun nga, sir, di ba? Nabanggit ko na before that um, we'll be joined by a guest host, a guest speaker for this episode. And ayun, kwentuhan yes. tayo. Um, kasama natin siya bilang magiging martes na rin siya for this episode. <laughs> so, All ayun, right. ayun na nga, sir. Paalala natin yung guest host natin for this um, episode. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so, he graduated with a BSBA of class of 2015 at Global City Innovative College. Currently, he is an ambassador for Bibora Sugar Paste, a flower pro designer and ambassador for the Philippines and Asia. Um, his works actually were featured in international magazines like Cake Masters UK, Cakes and Sugar Cakes, Sugar Craft Magazine, Cakes and More Magazine Italy, and ICES International Cake um, Exploration Society. Um, he is an international cake artist, and let's all welcome Chef Mark Kevin Reyes. Hi, Chef. Suking Hello, suking hi, na po everyone. namin kayo, Chef. Thank you so much for <laughs> oh, coming. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm very happy actually always to share um, to not only here but also to a lot of other uh, avenues and schools as well. Thank you po, Chef. Go ahead, Jasper. Uh, so, yeah. Um, thank you po ulit, Chef Kev, for uh, joining us um, for this for this day's um, episode of G-Talks, no? So, ayun. Gusto ko lang po tanong eh, bago tayo mag-start sa, um, sa topic natin for today. Kamusta naman po kayo? Um, actually, I'm good. So, no, because uh, this week's actually, it's been very, very busy. Because um, especially when the government actually um, made a mandate, which is uh, alert level 2 na tayo, right? So, mas, yes. mas maluwag. So, mm-hmm. it's crazy kasi the schedules on weddings and events, sumabog siya. So, nagsiksikan lahat for December, lahat ng gusto magpakasal. And then aside from that, I have classes kasi international. So, sometimes I do weddings in the morning. And then when I arrive home, I do... Nagaano ko, um, I do classes in other places because I can't fly. And then, um, yun super busy. The last weeks, every day, my wedding. And then there is a day Wednesday last week. It's two days, uh, two weddings in one day. So talagang tumbling lahat dito sa kitchen. Oh, correct. <laughs> Alam mo, chef, busy is good, no? Di ba? Yes, busy is good. <laughs> At least, di ba? Meron good. tayong ano? Meron tayong pinagkakitaan. We thank the Lord for that. Yes, Go ahead, correct. Jasper. Correct. So, ayun no, parang naka-overwhelm nga po yung, ano, nabanggit ni Sir Alvin kanina sa introduction na uh, with your achievements and stuff. And sabi rin mm-hmm. ni Sir Alvin na uh, be, being busy is good. Kasi nga, di ba, um, kapag busy ka, meron mga income na dumadating yan. Yes. And, ayun, um, so start na po tayo. Um, Chef Kev, um, can you name po ba some of your specific contributions to the community which you know yeah. innovation played a big role? or part for you to successfully ex- execute them? Yes, yes. Actually, um, that's innovation is something that I'm really um, interested in since I was a student. Mm-hmm. So when I stepped in in the industry, believe it or not, I'm really not... Um, it's more of like I don't see myself before as working in the culinary or pastry industry because my interest is really different, which is more on the creative side and artworks, just like the painting that you see at my back. Oh. So what happened was, because um, I'm the kind of person, even if when I was a student, I love developing something new because I don't go with what's currently on the flow or what's currently on the table. I really wanted to add something new, like new flavor, um, and for me, one of my contributions in the society, in weddings and events, um, I'm one of those suppliers that has 26 flavors. So, I, I, wow. well, actually, I believe I'm the only one that has more than 26 flavors. And then right now, we're still innovating new. We have five flavors for testing. Um, the reason why I did that is not just to have a different edge from my other 
cake suppliers, but also to provide new flavors to Filipino people. So um, just like, for example, one of our best seller this season is the apple crumble cake. So apple crumble is usually a pie, but we transformed it into a cake. So imagine you getting the, the, the best of both worlds in this yes. one dessert. And then um, aside from that, I saw that a lot of people are actually problematic when it comes to rainy season. Because uh, when you create cakes and then you don't have an area yet that is air-conditioned, what happens is everything melts because it's made from sugar. So that's wherein I started developing recipes that is strong when it comes to humidity. And those recipes like the mako paste, which is Mark's cornstarch paste, the gluma paste, and a lot more actually is being used not only here, but also in a lot of mm -hmm. different schools abroad. So which I'm very proud because a lot of schools abroad are actually crediting it. But when they credit, I always tell them, it's not just me. Uh, you should state it like Mark Kevin from the Philippines. Because I wanted them to know that it's someone from the Philippines who innovated that. Because um, if you go and backtrack, um, since before, it's always from the Western countries who has yes. been contributing something to the pastry and culinary. And the, the pastry industry yeah. talaga usually so, is dominated by the yes. Westerners. Eh. Tama Specifically, naman. cake decorating. So um, that's why I always innovate and develop uh, new recipes that people can use in order to minimize their problems. Because I always see it in a way that if I can do cakes, of course, some people in other parts of the world, not only here in the Philippines, wants to do cake also in order for them to have a better life. Mm -hmm. So for you to aid them well, they need to have a good um, tools and recipes with them for them to create quality and beautiful products. So that's where I'm coming from. Yes. It's innovation. That's correct. No, It's, it's, it's a beauty talaga to actually... actually Ang, ang Filipinos talaga are ano, known creatives talaga. Yes, you know? correct. Talagang um, it, it, it just stand, stands out. It yes, just stands correct. out. It, it's, di ba, kahit actually Miss, Miss Universe pa nga lang, kitang-kita na yung creativity mo on the <laughs> gowns, di ba? What more with the cakes that you you, yes. you do and also the flavors that you you um, introduce to the market, no? That's a good thing, no? Um, what advice can you give to people who feel they lack the imagination and the positive perspective in life in order for them to do innovative tasks, projects, or ventures that they have? Yes. For me, um, well, believe it or not, that's normal. Um, mm -hmm. I call that term as um, like the artist block or the creative dryness, you know, Everyone has that moment in their life wherein you experience as if you're not growing, you can't create something. It's like it's uh, totally plateau. Okay, uh, my advice is first, um, you need to breathe sometimes, okay? You need to stop currently what you're doing. Let, let's say if you're working with cakes, the, the, let's say straight week, you're doing cakes again and again and again and again you need to do something different because if not, that will be um, your body and mind will see it as something that's very, very normal and mm -hmm. very um, common already. So you won't have an area for you to have growth. So I always see it in a way that for you to create something, you need to like train your mind to see something new. And for you to do that, you need to also help your mind and your body in ways like you travel, you find a different hobby, because one way or another, even though it's different, it will affect how you perceive things indirectly. Let's say, for example, when I'm doing a lot of cakes, let's say straight week, what I always do is I always um, drag my partner with me and then we go somewhere mm -hmm. late. Let's say even if it's late night, we just have coffee in Tagaytay, just for me to see Correct. a area. It's yes. for me to breathe because if I won't do that, um, I'll be burned out. And that's it breaks very, the monotony, no? It breaks the monotony. Yes, correct. Just to break the monotony. Ah. So basically, that's what I do. Um, give time uh, for yourself because you always need to recover. You need to breathe. Uh, just think of it with the simple logic with machines, right? 
if you kept on using an oven again and again, again and again, and, and if it will not have, let's say, at least one or two hours of rest, mm -hmm. it's going to break out. So the same with us people. So we always need time to breathe and then um, do other things, open your mind to other things so that you get a lot of other inspiration. So mm -hmm. yeah, traveling is really good. And then um, experiencing and discovering new things is also good. Yes. So you know that's that's a very great story and advice overall for Chef Kevin. No? And ayun, I really appreciate it because as a student po in GIC, and kung hindi lang alam ng mga viewers natin ngayon sa Facebook, no, dito kasi sa GIC, we are being pushed to be innovative. And yeah, yeah ano, and and dami namin ginagawa. Um, ako, nakagawa na ako ng maraming films, and dumating na rin ako sa point na nag-breakdown ako. And ayun, gusto ko lang yung sinabi mo po, Chef Kev, na i-compare us to ano, machines. Kasi nga, di ba, yeah. even robots get tired. Meron na ito yeah. sa Facebook na yung arm, yung ano black arm na na na, na exhaust na rin siya parang hindi na siya na na hindi na siya gumana kasi paulit-ulit lang ang ginagawa niya and yes. ayun that's a really great ano nga advice na kailangan natin mag unwind minsan para iba peace, peace of mind so ayun so chef Kev ready ka ready ka na po ba sa next natin <laughs> ayun can you tell us about the disaster project you had and how did you get to it, Puba? Okay, uh, disaster projects. Um, actually, there's a lot. So in terms of uh, the wedding industry and events industry, there was a time wherein I am delivering a three-tier cake, which is all edible. So which means that everything is edible from the bottom to the top. So what Wala na masyadong gumagawa niyan ngayon. Ha? Yung it's very rare. rare. Yeah. Oh, rare na yun. Rare, rare. But I still do that. Sometimes I even do four tiers and then it's all oh. completely edible. Kasi yeah. usually yun nasa top lang eh. Kasi yun lang naman yung hinahati for cake. Di ba? Yes, yes. Uh, what happened was um, there was something unexpected that happened on the road. So the cake broke. Yeah. Kasi there was a motorcycle who entered our lane. So the driver had to push brake immediately. Yep. So what happened was the cake was on the back of the car. It flew all the way going to the middle part of the car. So what sure. happened was, and then the cake is not fondant. It's easy if it's fondant because you can like smooth it out on the venue and then it's really hard. It's like rubber. But the cake is in cream because the client does not like fondant, does not like buttercream. So it's completely cream, like the softest icing that you can yes, imagine. Yes, correct. So all the icing were on the box. So what happened was, um, basically, at times like that, wherein you experience disaster or, let's say, an unexpected experience, my advice is never panic. First is you have to calm yourself because if you yourself is panicking, what more will your um, assistants or people be, right? So you have to be the strongest and the most calm above them all. So what I did is I just thought of a way on how I can somehow uh, recreate the cake. So I was thinking fast. And then what happened was um, we pulled the cake back and then um, I redid the frosting at the back of the car. And I coordinated with the planners on how we can make a different kind of entrance for the cake. Because normally when you attend weddings, the cake is already there. Yes. So what happened was um, we redid the program a little bit. So there was a different entrance for the cake. And the cake actually... Usually kasi at... nasa gitna na kagad yung cake eh. Dama ba? Yeah, Pag correct, correct. Correct. And the cake actually looked better, in my opinion, in terms of the design. So I was really thankful for that event also, which is unexpected. Um, because the design is actually plain, ombre red cake. So it's from red going to lighter white. It's a wedding at BGC. So what happened was when I really redid the icing, um, it's like textured cement red with white mm -hmm plasters and everything and then the flowers again it's all over so it's like the cake was recreated it's a different design 
but then um still the you can still tag a lot of core values from our school there so aside from innovation of creating a new design with such limited time you also um touched leadership because you not panicking and giving orders uh the calm way very clear yeah, yeah. in the calm way to your people and at the same time um What's what's a core value? Fellowship and excellence, yeah. no? Fellowship excellence, no? Excellence, no? Working with your people. And yeah, that's basically, that's what happened. So for me, that's one of the most uh, challenging experience that I had. And that's the first and the last, I hope. Yeah, that's the first and the last. The second thing I could say and share is when I do classes international. So I had the travel before to um, China, where I did some workshops before. And then um, it's not easy to communicate with Chinese people, but mm -hmm. it's really good because, um, you know, even though you're just giving hand signals and gestures, they can understand you. Yes. So my point is, in times and in our journey, there will be a lot of challenges. So you have to approach it in a positive way. You have to think of it as an entryway to a new um, reward or a new um, positive outcome that you can get. Because if you get through those challenges, it's always a treasure underneath. So, yeah. Correct, no? Uh, I believe you parang what you're saying is you're turning problems into like opportunities already yes, and right, giving solutions right. rather than saying, ah, hindi, wala na ako magagawa, ganun, no? Right. That's Dama, right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because this is actually what, um, because I'm in the line of business, no? Yeah. Um, ito yung ano eh, ito yung entrepreneurship mindset that Global yes, right. Innovative College has been instilling to our students and as actually as faculty, no? And I, 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 I appreciate it that you are still actually using it, no? Lalo yung, ako kung ako yung siguro yung, yung biglang gumanon yung cake na hindi ko alam kung dating sa BG, BGC pa naman, ang hirap mag, ang hirap humanap ng parking, ang hirap humanap yeah, ng ano. Yeah, diba? that's the challenges pa. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, diba? I remember, masingit ko lang, the, Sige, go the wedding was held at, um, there's a, an events place on top of the other Serendra. I think yung bagong Serendra yon yung medyo malapit sa SDI. Yung ah, um, yes, yes. I, I I know that because I work sa ilalim noon. <laughs> I see. Ah, so taka, yun, nalimutan ko. Basta, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yun, yun. Yes, so yes, what yes. happened was, we were expecting to park sa tapat lang kasi may parang open, di ba, sa likod noon? Yes. May parang open parking. Pero Ganun, punuan yun. Yung malapit sa may soccer field. Yep. Kasi during that time, puno. Puno yes. talaga. So we had to park sa may Burgos Circle. So imagine how far. Yeah. That's so uh, far. Yeah, that's far. <laughs> far. So, yun, sa Burgos Circle, I was icing the cake, etc. Ganyan. And then, um, kailangan i-manage yung time to go back dun sa venue kasi uh -huh. hindi pwede masyado matagal. Kasi may rapa naman si planner to adjust the schedule. Correct. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard nga talaga. Lalo yun, no? Burgos Circle pa. Ang layo nun, no? Layo. Uh, tapos, yeah. ano, with the stoplights and traffic. With the stoplights, correct, no? Yes. Um, yeah, I think, sorry, ang bilis talaga pala ng oras, no? It's, it's, parang dami na natin pinag-usapan, no? But yeah. that's our yeah. time actually and we know we, you can share more and uh, we always thank you for your time. We appreciate your effort to thank come to our episodes. Um, please, na, alam namin suki ka na, pero please um, <laughs> come join us again for another episode course, next time, no? Para you can share more about these experiences. I would love to hear more about cakes. Um, yung magagandang parts at mga, mga hindi magagandang um, experiences. <laughs> There's a lot. Gusto, gusto There's a lot Kaya nga. Eh. But before we end, we want to ask you for a one-liner for our viewers about innovation and how they can use it in their day-to-day -day lives. Yeah? For me, um, the perfect. Uh, this is what I always say since the time that I was, and when I was still working at Bench, mm -hmm. advertising, I always tell the OJTs. Uh, sometimes you need to disconnect in order to make a connection. So what does it mean? Sometimes, um, if things are very, let's say, uh, 
It's the right term for that. Let's say it rolls completely normal, like uh-huh. same, like plateau. You need to disconnect because sometimes when you disconnect, let's say you travel or you try other things, when you go back, you are bringing back not only yourself, but also a lot of other ideas and experiences that you had with you. Yes, and you can yes. apply it in your work, not only in cakes, but in all industry. I'm sure of that. Correct. It widens kasi your, ano, yes, eh, no? correct. it widens your vision, it widens your horizon. No? At least it gives you a little bit of a, you know, Um, leeway for you to be more creative in the future. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. yes. Uh, so Jasper, go. Ayun, uh, thank you so much po, Chef Mark, for being with us today and also for your time. And thank of course, you, to express you. our gratitude to you po. Um, can we pray for you po ba? Yeah, sure, sure. It's okay. Ayun, so let us all bow our heads and feel the pressure, uh, uh, feel the uh, presence of the Lord. And so most graciously, Heavenly Father, Lord, Thank you for all this day that you have given to us. Lord, thank you for the life of Chef Mark. We really appreciate his time in spite of his busy schedule. I am asking Lord for his protection, Lord God, guidance, and also his good health. Shower him with the blessings and be a blessing also to his family. Please guide also his family and his career. We really appreciate Chef Mark for all the wisdom that he shared to us for this series. I know that this lesson, Chef Mark, shared to us is our step closer to also be a successful. Um, please, Lord God, grant Chef Mark a peaceful and mindful heart so that he can inspire more people. Uh, say the Lord's prayer in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Again, thank you so much, uh, Chef Mark, for uh, Chef Kevin, for allowing us to yes. to um, share your story and um, know your innovative uh, mindset. No, um, but before we go, we are actually inviting everyone, including you, Chef uh, Kevin. No, um, we are inviting you to our week-long celebration of the 20th founding anniversary of GIC, entitled Inobente. 20 years of transforming lives through innovative education. And um, this is actually a wonderful um, celebration because we will be holding a lot of events. Um, right now, syempre, internet lang muna with our, ano, no, and you can check our Facebook page. Yes, there. So um, before we leave, thank we thank you again, you viewers. Uh, we are here because of you and we thank you so much. Again, thank you so much, uh, Chef Kevin. Thank and you. as we always say, always tayong maging G na G dito lang sa The G Talks. Bye! Bye, everyone! <laughs>